In November of 1930, close to Anjakuni Lake in Canada, an event occurred that was unanticipated and could not be explained. The accounts indicate that an Inuit community, a group of culturally similar indigenous peoples inhabiting the Arctic and subarctic regions of Greenland, was entirely eradicated along with its population of a few dozen individuals. Even those who had been buried were uprooted from their tombs. Welcome to Moonjis, a place where you find all kind of facts and mind twirling information that would make you realize that facts are much stranger than fiction. Who was Joe LaBelle who visited Inuit villages? Joe LaBelle, a trapper who was in the process of asking the Inuit people who lived in the hamlet for a place to sleep for the night, was the one who brought the peculiar incident to the attention of the authorities in the area. So he did what any reasonable person would do and strolled into the lakeside hamlet, only to discover that everyone had vanished. Joe LaBelle then started to become aware of all of the spooky particulars about the location, Everything was left behind exactly where it had been, and in the state in which it had been left, the fires, the meals, the beverages, the residences, and even the weapons were all left exactly where they had been and in the condition in which they had been left. The fact that the clothing were also lying throughout the hamlet was one of the most remarkable things he discovered there. The investigation continued. During their investigation of the community, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police did not discover any evidence of violence, nor did they locate any indication that the inhabitants were making preparations for their departure. In addition to this, the skeletal remains of two sled dogs were discovered barely a few dozens of meters distant from the town. In later years, they learned that both of them had perished as a result of starvation, despite the fact that they had been in close proximity to the food store and abandoned homes of the hamlet, where they might have found plenty of food. Even though they appeared to be unaltered, some had the unsettling impression that all of the tombs had been looted and emptied of their contents. If you learned something new and mysterious today, please press that subscribe button and the bell icon because that inspires us to make more of such amazing videos every day. Some of the witnesses also claimed bizarre occurrences, for example, a trapper by the name of Armand Laurent who was close to the hamlet at the time described seeing a peculiar light phenomena over the lake. He was not the only one who became aware of the lights. His boys were also able to recollect the zigzagging flashes of light that appeared to change colors, before ultimately disappearing into the Anjakuni Lake. He was not the only person who became aware of the lights. Loran asserted that what he saw was not the northern light. He stated that he had experienced the northern light on several occasions, and the light that he saw over the lake appeared to be totally different. Theories related to the disappearance of people from Anjakuni Lake. It should come as no surprise that a popular topic among people who are captivated by mysteries and the like, is the peculiar case of the disappeared town. It should also come as no surprise that many of these individuals came up with a broad array of ideas to explain the events that took place. Some researchers in the field of science are of the opinion that what took place was an extraordinary example of human migration. However, it is difficult to comprehend why an entire community would all of a sudden decide to embark on a journey without taking with them at least some supplies, such as food, clothes sledges, dogs, canoes, or weapons. Not to mention their buried forefathers, who, contrary to the objects that were previously described, it appears that they had carried with them. It's possible that the rumors about the lights that zigzag were what pushed them. There's a chance we'll never know. Those who have a more spiritual or abstract way of understanding our world are more inclined to believe that whatever occurred in the area of the Anjakuni Lake may have been connected to some form of extraterrestrial activity. This view is shared by those who are more prone to believe in aliens. In spite of the fact that more than 80 years have elapsed since the disappearance of the community, their hypotheses have not been disproved. Is it true? The theory that is most widely accepted is that the whole story was made up by a journalist named E. Kelleher, who was inspired by a body disappearing from a grave, as well as the unexplained case of a few missing people. This theory is based on the fact that the journalist was inspired by a body disappearing from a grave. 
yet we are still searching for an answer and it doesn't seem like something we would get an answer to. If you like this video, a sub to the channel would be amazing and share the video with your friends to show off how different this world has been. You can also visit our website www.munjis.com for thousands of such mind-blowing content. See you tomorrow with more amazing content. Thanks for watching.